Hi, we are going to be learning about the different tools when watching a video. It's important to learn about these different tools when you learn asynchronously is because a lot of times you're going to be asked to watch a video to learn about a particular subject or skill before you meet with a teacher. Now, it's not like watching cartoons or a movie um, because these videos are loaded with information and a lot of times you will be asked to do an activity with the video. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This slide should be very familiar to you. It is from skill number one. And this teacher here has asked you to watch a video about local and state government. I'm going to go ahead and click play. And automatically, you should see a video playing with no sound. The reason for this, we see our sound button has a slash across it. So in order to listen to it, I would need to click on the sound button again. And you should be able to hear sound. I'm going to click on it again so that you can hear my voice while I talk in this video. To the left, we have the pause button. This pause button is so important. The reason why it's important is because sometimes you need a pause when you need to take notes or do an activity your teacher asks of you. Um, it's important to remember that a pause button is so, so important for think time. Sometimes when they give you a lot of information, I would need to pause and really think about, hmm, do I really understand that? Maybe I don't. I need to go and rewatch it. So I would go ahead and look at this red dot and I would click on it and drag back to where I maybe have gotten lost a bit and rewatch the video. Another function on the right, right here, is my full screen. Sometimes the video is too small and I can't see what's going on. So what you need to do is you can go ahead and click on full screen and it will fill up your entire screen with the video. Go ahead and watch your video like you normally do. Now, when you want to go back, simply you may click on the full screen button on the bottom right hand corner again, or you can press escape and it will bring you back to the slide original slide original size. So these tools are very, very important for you uh, when watching videos asynchronously. So let's review the pause and play button, the video, I mean, sorry, the volume button to the right, we have your full screen. 